Hey everybody, it's your girl Naj and I am back with another video. So, I want to come on really quick and share with y'all something that I experienced last night and this morning. And again, y'all know I'm still rocking with Team Single. But I want to just share a moment of transparency. Like, the enemy really wants you to get weary. He really wants you to just give up. And he'd rather for you to just be completely shamed um, instead of really out here trusting God. So I met somebody last week. Holy applause. <laughs> so I met somebody last week. And off the bat, they're telling me, nice looking guy, by the way, older man, telling me how much he likes me. And I'm like, but dude, like you just met me. And every chance he gets, he's telling me, oh, I, you know, I like you a lot. I want to get to know you. And I'm like, prove it. Like, words mean nothing to me. If you're not proving it, then sorry, bruh, but I don't get all gassed up. I said that before. Like, words, I don't want to say they don't mean nothing, but they don't hold as much weight as they used to. I used to need that validation. I used to need that hearing a guy say, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're this, you're that. Now... If your words aren't following up with actions, sorry, it ain't going to make me DTD. And if you watch Martin, then you know exactly what that means. So, um, he asked me to call him. He was like, oh, well, you know, you don't even call me. I was like, well, I do, but you don't answer your phone. I'm like, I'm not going to chase you. So he was like, well, um, can you call me tonight? So I was like, okay, call he didn't answer. Now, I had already said, if I call you this time and you don't answer, don't expect me to call you again. Like, these guys be really wanting you to chase. Like, what in the world is this? Like, I guess they've never been in the presence of a queen. But, bruh, I'm going to teach you. Like, you're not going to treat me like how you treat everybody. And I'm just not like just some old you know, floozy girl that you could just treat loosely. I don't treat myself loosely, so I'm not going to allow any guy to do that as well. The last point I wanted to make is that when it comes to singleness, the enemy wants you to feel rejected. Everybody, well, every guy is not going to want to hear that you're waiting until marriage. You know, it's cuffing season out here. People trying to, you know, get it when, where they can fit in. But the devil is a liar and he wants you to feel a spirit of rejection. And this morning I had to, I got up and I was like, the devil is a liar. I rebuke that, that spirit of the, of rejection that's trying to, you know, attach itself to me. No, rejection does not belong to me. If a guy, if I tell a guy what I'm looking for in the beginning and he's not making, um, attempts to meet those needs, then clearly I'm not the one for you. And that's it. That's it.